Here's some video of a uh, Hoakam culture there. It's right outside the uh, Phoenix airport here. This kind of shows a ceremonial uh, Earth celebration here in the village here that, that was here. This is artist's conception of how this uh, village operated. The primary concern uh, of these people was water, as you'll see here from the uh, canals and the canal system here. But here's a uh, of, here's just an overview of village of, of ceremonial uh, aspects of the uh, culture, which would have they had a rich ceremonial life that would have occupied a lot a lot of their time in between survival and things. This is the Hoakam culture. I recommend it to anyone who flies into Phoenix Airport. It's just right outside the airport. A quick hop on the bus. Uh, take you right there. You'd be there within five minutes in between flights if you got an extra two hours or so if you're laid over, but, but well worth it. Shows some of the uh, how the village was laid out and then you'll see the ball courts too which uh, these are borrow pits there where they got earth. There were mounds here um, and you'll see the river system. It was all dependent on the Salt River which you'll, you'll see in the tributaries. How they built these canals. Fascinating. Here's uh, one shot of how the Salt River was uh, diverted uh, to provide, you know, water for this uh, civilization. Here's an overview of two of the ball courts. Now, these ball courts would have been really an uh, important part of the ceremonial uh, aspect, as as we know from like some of the South American tribes, how how important the ball uh, courts were to them. Literally, a matter of life and death. Uh, Here's a petroglyph here. The museum's literally loaded with uh, artifacts here. Here's a, some type of a petroglyph that was found on the site. Now these desert cultures were not isolated the way people think they were. Allowed. We, there's entire villages and other, as you can see, outlying settlements that set up for this civilization here. Just one example, and there's, there's lots more examples in the museum of uh, some of the pottery that was there. It was constructed here either constructed here or stored here. I'm not, you know, probably both. But there, there would have been, these are ceremonial type pottery instruments where really important art of, uh, things for the uh, light earth renewal ceremonies would have been um, kept. Shows some of the textiles here. They were uh, capable of weaving. Shell pennants here, probably different types of cults had their own uh, shell pennants. And they had their different ceremonies here. Like I said, uh, now this is a real, real good picture here. Here's the Salt River. Well, this is right outside the Phoenix Airport. And like I said, you can see these villages. There's different villages and cooperative communities uh, around. Imagine some of them might have been antagonistic as well as cooperative, but I don't know anything about that, so. Here's one of these uh, ball courts, one of the larger ones. Um, I have some video I'm going to be posting on YouTube but of this uh, a walk around of this uh, ball court here, which is absolutely fascinating. Shows here uh, one of the villages here, like whether it was relatives or a cult, a different cult, uh, one of the Indian cults. Uh, not not real sure. It doesn't really, but it might have been just like family units. But it just shows how they were laid out here. Another overview of the canals here. Uh, here's a view of like the salt river there with the canal some of the canals uh, there and there's some of the mountains around Phoenix area with the sky in the background. And the village is like right over in to the left. Let's see right right in there. Because water usage was so um, important here, there was a lot of competition, and there would have had to have been cooperation for the for the scarcity of the water here. The ceremonial complex probably um, shared in distri distribution and prevention of conflict type thing through the use through the different cults. That's just one theory. The, the different cults that performed their ceremonies here. Here's a real good close-up here of the canal system. Another shot here indicating 
the complexity of the uh, canal system. A lot of people think these cults uh, stimulated cooperation and then later they stimulated uh, competition, where um, which may have caused the demise of some of these civilizations, but nothing's for certain. And you can see one of the ba uh, in the background there, one of the mounds, like ceremonial mounds are here. Like I said, this is a Mesa Grande is just right outside of the airport. Uh, highly recommend it. Thank you for viewing this video.